Hey y'all, this is a review of Papillon 9's <clears throat> One Ring of Power, the Lord of the Rings gold-plated sterling silver glow-in-the-dark ring. And I just wanted to give you guys a sense of what it is. Um, on the site, which is not the greatest design and it loads pretty slowly, um, it specifically denotes that, you know, orange and red are the kinds that are most true to the movie. And, uh, and, and it says, has a luminous inside and outside the ring, exactly as you can see in the movie, The Lord of the Rings. Of course, this is not an officially licensed product. So she's taking a ring that she probably gets from China or somewhere, and she's applying glow powder to it in a certain way that's going to make the script uh, glow in the dark. And then she specifically says it is, you know, it has the ring verse one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the dark to bind them. And the land is a mortar with shadows light. Actually, that part is not on the ring, even in the book. That's uh, that's just in, in the book, and that's um, the ring only has the first two verses on them. Anyway, um, and then she's sort of describing giving background on the ring which is which is fine so she uses um, glow power you have to charge the ring by holding another light a few minutes before you wear it in the dark it will gra gradually release its light energy throughout the night um, with this ring came a little tiny black light that I didn't really uh, find very useful she said so Orange is the kind that's supposed to look like the movie. It's supposed to last 20 to 30 minutes, brightest in the first 10 minutes. I didn't exactly um, experience this. So what I first want to know uh, when I receive the ring is about accuracy. So let me um, bring up the, the script that we have here. This is the script from the book. Um, this is the uh, the two lines of verse that are inscribed upon the ring. This is straight from the book. This is it's it's in four parts, right? So this is one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the dark to bind them. Okay, so let's uh, try to pay attention here. I I know that the um, Elvish script is a little daunting for some people, so let's just pay attention to the flourishes on the first two verses. This is a flourish and this is a flourish. Okay, so the first two verses have the flourish on them. The second two do not. And in between each of the four lines of text, there is a space. So we'll just focus on that. So I'm going to show you the ring itself, which I received from Papillon 9. Okay. So here's the ring. So that there's the first flourish that you can see. So now I'm going to slowly rotate the ring. All right. So that's the one ring to rule them all. And then there's the space. Okay. One ring to find them. Then that's the ending flourish. Okay. So now we've reached the second part of the verse. And then this is one ring to rule them all. Then there's a space. And we've hit the, the first flourish again. Can you see that? Right? So we've basically managed to do one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and then we hit the first flourish again. So basically, this ring only has the first three parts of the ring verse, and then it just stops. And it doesn't have this last part, which is, and in the darkness bind them. That was the first thing I noticed, and it's uh, disappointing to say the least because you have uh, this site saying great things about, uh, you know, this ring is exactly like the one in the movies, and uh, it turns out that it's it's not. And I, uh, I put this uh, back to the seller, and uh, she says... Uh, Essentially, you know, you can't expect my ring to be exactly like the one in the movies. Um, let me let me highlight that exactly as you can see on the movie The Lord of the Rings. So, again, this is not a licensed product, and I don't expect perfection, but I do at least expect 
the ring to have the entire ring verse on it, which which it just does not. Um, the only other thing I can say about this ring is that you can see in real close up, it's already uh, abraded in the sense that the gold is not smooth. It already looks like it has a thousand and one scratches on it, creating a sort of worn look. And this is because in order to apply the glow powder, they essentially dunk the whole ring in glow powder, and then she sands off the gold um, where the letter everywhere the letters aren't, right? So that the gold the, the glow powder remains inside the letter. Now the reason that the uh, the official one ring replica, which you can get from Weta Workshop or Jens Hansen, which is a New Zealand company that made the original ring for the movie. Their their letters are laser engraved, okay, and these are uh, so thick. I'm not sure that they're laser engraved. I'm not sure how the letters came to be on the ring, but they're so thick that there was just simply no room to put the entire ring verse on. So I, in, in a sense, I understand where this lady's coming from. She's like, well, you can't expect me to... Blah, blah, blah. And... and I had just an honors review that she refused to post. I, I wrote this review and then she just didn't make it visible on her site. So that's why I'm kind of angry. Now, the one thing I did like is the, uh, um, unlike some versions of the one ring that you can buy, uh, this does have the engraving inside of it, which is, as it says in the book, the letters can be found both inside the band and outside the band. And that's how it was in the movie as well. So I, I like this. I like the, the fact that uh, the engraving is inside as well. However, the same problem remains. Only three parts of the four-part verse are, are inside the ring. I also don't like that there's um, this little uh, identification number, 5925. It's some sort of... Uh, I don't know, model number or something. And I think that is just, <clears throat> takes you right out of the, the fantasy element, right? It just, it's just incongruous to the rest of the, the fantasy script. It obviously doesn't belong there. And I think that you should try to make a ring that doesn't, uh, include this if possible. I mean, maybe I'm expecting too much for $175, which is, by the way, what it cost me. To get this ring and so it's it's not cheap but it's not the most expensive gold ring either um oh i i, I didn't want to take it off the chain because it's a hassle but the ring arrives alone it does not arrive with the chain the chain i bought separately and i brought the chain from weta workshop so it's an actual replica of the one frodo wore in the movie and it has this unique s-shaped clasp but that's a little actually difficult the clasp is so big it keeps um dragging down to the front of my neck and then I have to keep twisting the chain to get it back uh, into the back. Um, so, but I mean, the, it looks very good and I'm sure it's durable. So, all right. So now we're, we're going to examine the reason why I bought this ring as opposed to official Weta replica, right? Is because this ring glows in the dark. So uh, we'll, we'll, let's uh, look at that ability here. So I'm going to... Uh, Go back to, and let's go over here. Now, remember the website claimed that um, this ring would orange glow for 20 to 30 minutes with the first brightest being the 10 first minutes. And that you just need to hold it up to the light for a few minutes and then it would magically glow. And by the way, I don't know if it's coming out in the color, but this gold is so light as to look almost silver compared to the true silver of the chain, right? This is just such a light gold color. It's it's definitely not the the true deep yellow gold that you see in the movies. And I think that has something to do with the fact that she had to sand off the gold plating in order to get the, the glow to, to show up correctly. By the way, it's upside down. Um, so, again, you know, if you're searching for that perfect looking gold ring from the movie. This is not it. But um, I will show off the reason why the people buy this ring, which is uh, that it glows. So All right, here we are back with the ring. I had to stop the video in order to turn off my flash. Um, 
if you just have it in regular light, there is just no glow whatsoever. So I can't substantiate her claim that regular light makes this thing glow. So I, I bought a uh, impressive looking uh, black light flashlight, which is really powerful. So, by the way, UV light is nothing to uh, play around with. You cannot shine this thing in your eyes uh, or on your skin. You know, it causes cancer. So, um, this is the only thing I would use it for. Other people use black lights to find, like, where their dog peed or something. But, um, a few, like a minute of this, maybe 30 seconds of this, and then I uh, will turn this off. Okay, so you can sort of see. Of course, in the direct light, it's really hard to see. Okay, now you can see that the ring glows. And this is, you know, it is nice. I'm not going to lie. This is a really cool effect. So everywhere there's there's letters, um, it's glowing. And on the inside as well, which is a nice, a nice visual. Now, as for the whole lasting for 20 to 30 minutes thing, I uh, I haven't found that to be true, honestly. The glow lasts really bright for maybe a minute, and then it just starts to get dimmer and dimmer. By the end of uh, like six or seven minutes, you'd be pretty hard-pressed to see it. I did a test where I was just going to bed, and then I held the ring in my hand and as long for as long as I could to see just the faintest sort of glow in an absolute pitch darkness and I could still barely I could just barely see it at the end of 10 minutes see even it's been it's been about a minute and you can see it's gotten noticeably dimmer so this this glow won't last very long in terms of a noticeable glow I would say like no more than five minutes and then the tiniest bit of glow lasts for 10 minutes and then you're done so you, you have to keep uh, recharging it with the black light if you want any sort of cool effect. So I'm just going to recharge it. There, now it's back, you see. So I don't buy that regular sunlight charges this thing. I haven't found that to be the case. And I found the brightest glow in the first 30 seconds and then it immediately starts to noticeably dim. And then maybe you get a noticeable glow for five minutes and then the tiniest bit of glow lasting through ten minutes. So if that's worth it to you, then you could go for this ring. Honestly, um, it all depends on what you want. If you're going for movie quality and accuracy, then this is not the ring I would go for. And if you're going for, oh, hey, this is a really cool party trick. It lasts for like a minute, you know, and you want to show off to your friends and you carry a black light in your pocket, um, then, yeah, this, this would be pretty cool.